Now, Illinois could see a change in the way citizens vote as early as the 2028 presidential election. A new voting system is being considered and voters will be able to weigh in on the issue with an advisory question this November. I took the time to look into this somewhat new system and explain what exactly ranked choice voting is. A state task force comprised of 20 members is studying the issue by reviewing different voting systems and processes to see if ranked choice voting should be implemented in the state. But what is ranked choice voting? It is a process in which the individuals vote for all of the candidates on the ballot. So let's say there are five options. They would vote one through five, ranking them. So let's break down that process. Voters rank candidates in order of preference. If a candidate receives a majority of the first place votes, they're declared the winner. If no one gets a majority, the candidate that comes in last place is eliminated and all the votes favoring that candidate are reallocated to the voters' second ranked choice. That process continues until one candidate receives 50% of the votes. The state of Illinois currently votes by plurality, meaning only one candidate at a time is selected and the candidate with the most votes win. But what happens if ranked choice voting is adopted in Illinois? State Senator Sally Turner says counties would be required to purchase new voting equipment and pay to educate voters. If you were to change any part of your election system, you have to go through the State Board of Elections and they have to go through testing. And those uh, companies have to submit all their uh, inner workings to the State Board of Elections, and then State Board has to test it over and over and over again. Uh, and that takes a while, and that takes money. Money she says the state doesn't have. State Representative Katie Stewart released the following statement to 25 News, saying, quote, Studies have shown that ranked choice voting increases voter turnout. Illinois is simply looking at the opportunity to provide ranked choice voting in presidential primary elections. Many voters feel that the limitation of two parties is discouraging, and if ranked choice voting will bring more people to the polls, I think it's something we should consider. However, as a former county clerk, Senator Turner believes ranked choice voting will not have a noticeable impact on voter turnout. The only way that you're going to encourage people to come out and vote is that those um, candidates are an issue is something that is important to those individuals. That's the only way that you're going to encourage people to come out and vote. Uh, it's not necessarily how, how their uh, ballot looks. The Ranked Choice Voting Task Force has met several times, both virtually and in person. A final report is supposed to be released to legislature, but there's no word on that date. 25 News has reached out to the task force co-chairs, but we haven't heard back yet.